Something I haven't figured out in my van yet is like what or where to use as a countertop. I guess I probably could get a board section here, but I don't want junk to be falling inside of here or putting way too much pressure on, on these drawer slides, even though I think they're good for 250 pounds. I just, so I use the floor for this kind of stuff. Sure, it might not be the world's most sanitary place to prep food, but I live in a van and it's all good. If there's any bugs around here or anything like that, Cruz will get them first. It's all good. Right, buddy? <laughs> He's like, I want nothing to do with what you're talking about. Whoever likes to cook, you're crazy. I just cut up those potatoes so I could make some hash browns and I get annoyed by doing stuff like this. Just all the repetitive chopping. I'm like, man, this is a lot of work. But this is why I don't cook in the van very often because I find the whole preparing food process rather annoying. So I have a ton of respect for people who are chefs or prep cooks or whatever you want to call them that help out the chefs. Um, I have a really good friend of mine named Terrence who is um, one heck of a chef and uh, big respect for that kind of stuff man because I have no patience for that like that was annoying for me so now you know why chrome doesn't cook in the van because I get annoyed with the whole process all right I got a bigger lid than this one all right, let's cover those up. There we go, perfect. I've had a few people ask me to do like more cooking show style stuff on my channel. But you know what? I'm not really a big cook. So for me, eating simple is just easier. Like I would rather just eat the ingredients instead of prepping things. So today is just hash browns and avocado. All right. Hey, my ash browns are all done. We'll shut this off now. Whoops, wrong way. <laughs> I still not much to open my roof vent. I'm more of a, if I need ventilation in the van, I'm more of a guy just to open up the side doors of my house. Besides, it allows you to enjoy the view. <laughs> Ginormous advertisement. But over there, the wood turbines. The wind's been ripping through the section too. But yeah, I'm not... Still not overly sold on the roof vent yet. Oh, I'm excited for breakfast. Yeah, I put maple syrup on my hash browns, man. If you've never done that, I highly suggest. Oh, that feels nice. It was getting a little chilly, so I turned the heater on. And uh, today's turning out to be a little bit of a what Chrome eats in a day kind of video. We're gonna have some spaghetti and asparagus for lunch. Um, on the spaghetti, I'm just gonna put some Parmesan cheese. But water's boiling. Whoo, ready for some spaghetti, baby. All right, I don't know what I'm doing or how much I need to make that much. I don't know, it just seems like a good amount. Woo, looks fancy. Not really sure what the protocol is for getting all these noodles inside of that bowl. Could have broke them, but I kind of like longer noodles. They're more fun. Oh, that works. They're slowly going in. Oh, sweet. Well, it's not sticking together. I didn't put anything in the water because I don't know what to do here, so I'm just boiling it. Leave that lid on the side just a little bit. 
I never shut my roof vent. This thing is always open and you can feel the wind howling through it because it's super windy outside. When the gust gets it, you can feel it pushing down on the head. So there is some fresh air coming into the van. I just don't turn it on really. Like I think for me, if I were to ever do another van, I just might put a skylight that opens in the roof um, instead of an actual fan. Yeah, I haven't really used the fan part very much, but I enjoy having keeping it open. All right, guys, so in a couple minutes here, I guess I should start these, I guess. I love asparagus. You guys like asparagus? Not really sure what I'm doing, so I got a little bit of oil in the pan here. And I'll, I, I make these asparagus things quite often. Usually what I do is I just get the pan nice and hot with the asparagus in it. Then I toss a tiny bit of water in there and then throw the lid on and just let it steam for a while. I probably could let it steam without the oil, but the oil is nice at the end to kind of put all the, I put um, this garlic plus stuff on the top of it. It actually is pretty good. I'm gonna toss a little bit of water in there. Pop that lid on there, bam! Chromie's in the kitchen. Woo! I don't have a strainer, so I just use the lid of the pot to do my straining. What is dad doing, huh? <laughs> don't look so scared. Dad's in the kitchen, watch out! A little bit of Parmesan cheese, that'll should do her. Stir this one up a little bit. <laughs> but this asparagus with that garlic plus on it, amazing, delicious. Pasta turned out to be pretty good. I threw some pepper on it, Parmesan cheese. It turned out to be good, but I'm gonna save the rest of this stuff for later and probably fry up some more asparagus for my final meal of the day. Um, and maybe eat some of those bananas that are up there. They're going bad, so there's four bananas here. I might smash them or eat a couple of them today anyway. But yeah, I totally didn't intend to make this into a cooking little, hey man, we're hanging out in the van today. I wasn't about to film me sitting there going, watching Netflix, because that'd be boring for you to watch. But hopefully you enjoyed just hanging out in the van with me. Uh, before we go, I'm gonna show you where we are here. I'm gonna get outside. It's super windy, so if it's making bad noise. It's windy and a little chilly. All right, it's just a little pull out on the side of the highway. It's a great little spot. Hold on, let me flip the camera around and show you exactly where we are. There's a map right here. Up there on the top of the map, that whole thing, that's the province of Nova Scotia. But zooming it in here, we're in a town called Amherst. And yes, there's a town called Pugwash. I was there yesterday. Kind of funny. But it's just a nice little spot. We've been parked here all day long today. Oh, let's go back inside. sand don't want to bring that stuff in not like it matters look at the dog hair yeah that's all from you mr. Cruz look at it oh, I give up <laughs> what don't give me that look you're like dad you're on my floor you're on my floor dad hey okay. you say bye everybody look at this face how can you not love this face look how mushy it is how mushy his face is. Say hello, everybody. Hello. Hi, YouTube. Hey, you're such a lovable little boy. Hey, are you a lovable boy? Are you lovable? <laughs> I don't know what I started. Are you lovable? <laughs> yeah? Really? He's like, don't tell everybody I'm lovable. Don't tell them I'm lovable. Don't do that. <laughs> I 
Um, thanks for hanging out with us on absolutely the realest van life day you could probably get on my channel. Uh, <laughs> the only thing we didn't do together today was watch Netflix together. Um, but thanks for watching you guys. Hit that subscribe button, say hi to everybody in the comments, and I'll probably see you guys with another video maybe tomorrow. Definitely won't be a cooking video, but hey, at least now you got to see some of the things I cook in the van. <laughs> I think Chris is losing his mind. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> you were a spaz, a total spaz. You know that? <laughs> You're a spaz, man. <laughs> Why are you such a spaz? <laughs> supposed to be a nice boy <laughs> you're supposed to show everybody how sweet the sweet of a boy you are look at keep your mouth shut and just be super sweet hey right there look how sweet you look <laughs> don't be twisted people this guy is a damn maniac hey yeah, that's right breathe a little bit just calm down calm down okay everybody see you later who oh, you kisses now Hmm? Little kisses now. Thank you. Hey, tell everybody. Go subscribe to Cruz's channel. Oh, don't lick my neck. That's a gross one. Love you, buddy. All right, you guys. We'll see you soon. Bye. Say bye. No, they don't want to see your balls, buddy. <laughs> they don't want to see your balls. Mm.